The Linguosphere Observatory or Observatoire based upon its original French and legal title, Observatoire Linguistique is a transnational linguistic research network. Topic: History It was created in Quebec in 1983 and was subsequently established and registered in Normandy as a non-profit association under the honorary presidency of the late Léopold Cédar Senghor, a French-language poet and the first president of Senegal. Its founding director is David Dalby, former director of the International African Institute and emeritus reader in the University of London, and its first research secretary was Philippe Blanquet, a Provençal language poet currently serving as professor of sociolinguistics at the University of Rennes. Since 2010, the deputy director and webmaster of the Observatoire has been Pierrick Lefer, with the chairman of its research council being Roland Breton, emeritus professor at the University of Paris 8. The Observatoire's research hub is currently based in the European Union, in Carmarthenshire, Wales UK, and in Paris. Its title in Welsh is Wilfa Iethed, literally the «Observatory of Languages», and its publishing associate also in Wales is the GWASGYBYD Iath, i.e. «Linguosphere Press», or literally «Press of the World of Language». The Observatoire has developed an innovative scheme of philological classification, coding all living and recorded languages within a global referential framework or linguascale. This linguascale framework uses a decimal structure see below to record both genetic and geographic categories of relationship termed phylozones and geozones, respectively. In 1999–2000, the Observatoire published David Dalby's two-volume Linguosphere Register of the World's Languages and Speech Communities. Reviews were published by Edward J. Vida in Language and by Anthony P. Grant in Journal of the Royal Anthropological Society. The Observatoire has now prepared a revised edition of the Linguosphere Register from 2010, the first of a projected series of regular updates at 10-year intervals. The current edition LS2010, comprising substantial materials from the Foundation edition of 2000, is published online from 2011 as a freely available public resource and an online database, compiled and coordinated by David Dalby and Pierrick Leferve. Provision is made for the online gathering of additional and improved data, and for the open discussion of proposals and criticisms. From 2001 until December 2005, the Linguosphere Observatory was actively involved in collaboration with the British Standards Institution BSI Group and with ISO – TC 37 inches the design and development of a four-letter code covering — potentially — every recorded language variety in the world. The observatoire was not, however, associated with or responsible for the final ISO 639-6 standard which was a partial result of this collaboration, and which was approved and published by ISO in 2009. It is the policy of the observatoire that its ongoing independent work on language coding should be complementary to and supportive of the ISO 639 international standards. The Linguosphere Register and Linguoscale Referential Framework The Linguoscale Framework is a referential system covering all languages, as published in the Linguosphere Register in 2000 and subsequently refined in 2010. It comprises a flexible coding formula or which seeks to situate each language and dialect within the totality of the world's living and recorded languages, having regard to ongoing linguistic research. The first part of this linguoscale is the decimal classification referred to above, consisting of a linguosphere key of two numerals denoting the relevant phylozone or geozone, from 00 to 99. This provides a systematic numerical key for the initial classification of any of the world's languages, following the principles set out in the linguosphere register. The first numeral of the key represents one of the ten referential sectors into which the world's languages are initially divided. The sector can either be a phylosector, in which the constituent languages are considered to be in a diachronic relationship one with another, or a geosector, in which languages are grouped geographically rather than historically. The second numeral is used to represent the ten zones into which each geosector is divided for referential purposes. The component zones, like the sectors, are described as either phylozones or geozones, based on the nature of the relationship among their constituent languages, either historical or geographical. The second part of the linguoscale consists of three capital letters majuscules, from AAA to Zs. 
Each zone is divided into one or more sets, with each set being represented by the first majuscule of this three-letter component. Each set is divided into one or more chains represented by the second majuscule and each chain is into one or more nets represented by the third majuscule. The division of the languages of a zone into sets, chains and nets is based on relative degrees of linguistic proximity, as measured in principle by approximate proportions of shared basic vocabulary. Geozones are on average divided into more sets than phylozones because relationships among languages within the latter are by definition more obvious and much closer. The third and final part of the linguascale consists of up to three lowercase letters minuscules, used to identify a language or dialect with precision, from triple A to Zs. The first letter of this sequence represents an outer unit preferred from 2010 to the original term of outer language, to avoid the shifting and often emotive applications of the terms language and dialect. The inner units and language varieties that may comprise any outer language are coded using a second, and wherever necessary a third minuscule letter. Topic examples The application of the linguascale may be illustrated with the concrete examples below, chosen from within the English language. For example, the code covering all forms of English is 52ABA, where 5 equals represents the Indo-European phylosector, 52 equals represents the Germanic phylozone, 52A represents the Norsk plus Frisk set a compound name chosen to cover the contents of the Germanic phylozone, 52AB represents the English plus Anglo-Creole chain, and 52ABA is the English net. Within this net, the outer units are, 52ABA a, Scots plus Northumbrian. 52ABAB Anglo-English the traditional localised varieties of Southern Great Britain and also Ireland, 52ABAC Global English varieties of modern English as spoken and written around the world. Some more specific examples of English varieties are, 52ABA AB is the Geordie traditional variety, belonging to 52ABA a Scots plus Northumbrian outer language, and 52ABA AB Northumbrian, 52ABA BCO is the Norfolk traditional variety, belonging to 52ABA B Anglo English outer unit, and specifically to 52ABA BC Southern British traditional English, 52ABA COF covers the range of non creolized Nigerian English belonging to 52ABAC Global English Outer Unit, and 52ABA Co West African English. Nigerian English is thus distinguished from the often overlapping 52ABBBFENPI or NP, from the abbreviation of so-called Nigerian Pigeon, belonging to 52ABB Anglo-Creole Net, and 52ABBB West Coast West Coast Anglo-Creole. Topic languages of London A practical application of the Linguosphere Register and its linguascale in the study of a complex urban linguistic environment has been as the referential framework for successive surveys of over 200 languages other than English spoken by plurilingual children at state schools in London representing just under 40% of the total number of children attending, as edited in 2000 by Baker and Eversley and in 2010 by Eversley et al. Topic see also language code with tabulated example of coding systems for English and Spanish, including ISO 639 and Linguosphere. Topic Langues de la Liberté, Languages of Liberty. In Paris, from 1987, the Observatoire Linguistique created a bilingual exhibition Langues de la Liberté, Languages of Liberty, tracing the transnational development of certain basic concepts of personal freedom through the interaction of English and French, rather than by the action of any one nation. At the outset of a series of 34 illustrated triptychs, attention was drawn to the historical role of other transnational languages in the development of such concepts, including Greek and German. The exhibition was sponsored by the government of a bilingual nation, Canada, by the International Francophone Agence (ACCT), and by the region of Haute Normandy. It was inaugurated in Paris at the Centre Georges Pompidou on 6 June 1989, and presented there throughout the summer of 1989 as the official Canadian contribution to the bicentenary celebrations of the French Revolution. At the subsequent presentation of this bilingual exhibition at the Hôtel de Région in Rouen, Haute Normandy, from the 23rd of September to the 21st of October 1989, the Observatoire Linguistique organized the first public display of the only surviving contemporary copy of the vernacular and arguably pre-Latin text of England's Magna Carta, written in 13th-century French. 
Thanks to continued support from Canada, the exhibition was subsequently presented by the Observatoire in Belgium and England, at the Palais des Congrès in Liège and at the Commonwealth Institute in London in 1990, and finally in Australia, at Old Parliament House, Canberra in May 1991. In the context of the need to design a plurilingual framework of ethics for a future planetary society, the Observatoire has announced its intention to return to the transnational theme of the Magna Carta in 2015, on the occasion of the 8th centenary of the signing of its formal Latin version at Runnymede in 1215. Topic in the galaxy of languages, each person's voice is a star. The motto of the Observatoire Linguistique dates from 1990, in French, Dans la galaxie des langues, la voie de chaque personne est une étoile, translated into English as above. The Observatoire adopted these words as its guiding philosophy on the occasion of the first series of debates organized by the Observatoire Linguistique in 1990-1991, at Fleury-sur-Andel in Haute-Normandie, at Malin in Provence and at Hoy in Wallonie, sponsored by each of the relevant regions, on the subject of nos langues et l'unité de l'Europe our languages and the unity of Europe. The guest of honor at the first of these debates was André Martinet 1908-1999, doyen of transatlantic linguistics. From the year 2000 UNESCO adopted and adapted the Observatoire's motto in the form, in the galaxy of languages, each word is a star. Topic see also Ethnologue topic References topic External links from May 2011, http//www.linguisphere.info provides free online access to the current research and reference materials of the Observatoire Linguistique, Linguisphere Observatory, including the complete Linguiscale coding of the world's languages LS2010, totaling over 32,800 coded entries and over 70,900 linguistic names and the contents of the Original Linguisphere Register of the World's Languages and Speech Communities LS2000. HTTP colon slash slash www.hortense-garden.org slash index. PHP, TNC equals 1 and TR equals LSR.